Hi, this is Yvonne McNary with Channel 6 Television, and I'm here with uh, Ms. Angela Burke, who comes to us today from Glasscock Elementary School, and uh, she's going to give us a lot of information about the eclipse, of what went on, what went on with the eclipse. Uh, she's going to explain it to us so that, uh, well, she's an, a grade school teacher, <laughs> so <laughs> she's going to break it down real good for us, so we'll understand everything she says. Welcome. Thank you. Glad I have to. about 430 students at Glasscock, <laughs> and as of tomorrow, we'll have preschool, so we'll have about 500 students there. And we have been learning about the eclipse, and it's very simple. Mm -hmm. The moon is going around the Earth, the sun is out there, and at one particular moment, we're going to have all three of them lined up. Wow. And it has to be perfectly lined. It can't just be a little bit off, or it won't work. Okay. And that's called a complete eclipse, right? The total eclipse, total or eclipse. complete eclipse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, as far as eclipses go, how often do we normally have these? We have an eclipse, a solar eclipse is about twice a year, and mm -hmm. a lunar eclipse is about twice a year. A total lunar, or a total solar eclipse is only going to occur about one in one and a half years. Okay, all right then. So we've got a lot of people out there who are really excited today, and why don't you tell us some of the things that you taught the kids about the eclipse? And going back to what you just said about that this does occur more often than a lot of people are giving it credit for, the problem is only about 1% of the entire world is going to be able to see it. Uh -huh. And that's if they go to those locations. Okay. So if it occurs over the ocean, we're probably not likely to hear about it. If it occurs over the North or South Pole, we're probably not likely to hear mm -hmm. about it. This particular one is going to go from coast to coast. Okay. It is going to travel across the United States all the way. Now, I saw the line, a uh, uh, line on television on some, some place where they were showing uh, the, the route that it was taking across, going from coast to coast. So if yes. we're in I any of those places, we're going to get a good view, right? Absolutely. The total solar eclipse is going to go from Oregon to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. It is going to be through Kentucky. We're not going to get the total solar eclipse in Marion County. But we think it's going to be about 97.6% is mm -hmm. the closest average I can get from NASA. Fantastic. Well, you know, too, everybody wants to see the eclipse, but we know that it's pretty dangerous to look at the eclipse with just naked eyes. So we have equipment that we can use, right? Yes. And all of my Glasscock students were given these. Mm -hmm. My principal was wonderful. She was allowed, to, we were able to give them to everybody. But if you didn't get this, then hopefully you were online and you found out one of those other ways. It is a pinhole, which you're looking through a pinhole at a reflected version mm -hmm. of what you're seeing behind you, or through a mirrored version. And then you can project it, and I taught my kids how to do this. You can actually project the solar eclipse on another surface, such okay. as an outside wall. Mm -hmm. And either one of those is totally safe. Um, and additionally, there's going to be some really cool shadows and things that happen with solar eclipses. So even if you're not looking directly at the sun mm -hmm. with the special glasses, you can look at the ground and find some really neat stuff. Fantastic. Solar eclipse doesn't happen that often, but no. we, we've got one this, this time. What did you expect to see? The shadows, the lights being different, mm -hmm. the excitement of the town, the excitement of the kids especially. Um, and there's stories that are yeah. going to come from it. Yeah, going to be a lot of stories from the eclipse. Now, uh, is this the first one you've witnessed? No, actually, <laughs> not to say my age, mm -hmm. but yes, there was one when I was a very small child. I didn't understand what was going on. I thought the sun was going black. Mm -hmm. I did not understand that it was actually in the moon that was in front of it. And I remember our teacher taking us outside and saying, make sure you look because you'll probably never see this again. Uh -huh. And we had our little glasses and but that's been several, several years ago. <laughs> but there's a few of us that did see mm -hmm. that one. Well, because eclipses only happen so often. And again, like you said, explain that to us one more time so our, our viewers understand what happened. We have the moon going around the Earth, and we have the sun here, and it's only when the sunlight is blocked by the moon that causes the shadow on the Earth. And it has to be a perfect line for it to happen for you to be there. Okay. Now we have special glasses. Like you said, the glasses that they give you, what exactly do these glasses do? They darken it to the point that it's not going to hurt your retinas. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's, you have to have these glasses. If you're, you should have had these glasses if you were going to You partake. should have had the glasses. If not, hopefully you were looking at other surfaces and still being able to see it on those other surfaces. Okay. Now, can you tell us when our next one's going to be? The next total solar eclipse is in 2024. 
and it's going to make a different path than okay. this one. The path of the current one is going mostly mm -hmm. from a west to an east. The next one is going to go more of a north-south pattern, and you're going to see it from Maine to Texas, crossing in, I believe it's Illinois at that time. Oh, Illinois at that time. Okay. Well, we'll have to get ready for that one as well. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming out thank and you. talking to us today about this. We've got Ms. Angela Burke here with us talking about... Uh, giving us the same um, information that she gave her students on the eclipse so that everybody knows what's going on. And thank you for having us. We are really fortunate at Glasscock to have a science program and to be able to teach about this and robotics and about engineering and about a lot of those things that we need to move forward in science. Thank you. Well, we're so glad to have you today you. with us to explain all that. And um, maybe you will have you back again. I would appreciate that. All right. This has been Yvonne McNary for Central Kentucky Television.